Hey beautiful peeps, so um, reviewing and preparing for tomorrow. Tomorrow morning we're doing a simulation and on a mannequin. Um, we're gonna take vitals, we're going to do respiratory and cardiac assessment on the mannequin. And these mannequins, they actually breathe and blink. It's a little bit creepy, but it's fun. Yeah, and we also have to document all what we did and the results and everything in our online medical record system. Last week's focus was Alzheimer's. Tomorrow's focus will be diabetes. So we're learning about the different types of insulin, the different types of medications that are given for diabetes, not just insulin. We're learning about um, counting carbohydrates, so carb counting and also the sliding scale concept so it says here insulin is usually given on a sliding scale so according to the patient's blood glu glucose at a given moment so apart from what the doctor prescribed to the patient for their hypoglycemia condition so usually if a patient is has diabetes so they tend to have high blood um, sugar glucose in their sh blood right they are prescribed a medication that they probably take regularly but sometimes the pres the doctor can say uh, in addition to their regular diabetes medicine give them this on a sliding scale something like that I'm not too sure but um, I'll ask questions more questions about it tomorrow but I think you go into the patient's room at the moment you measure their blood you, you know take a little sample of their blood measure their blood glucose so their sugar level and depending on what it is you would give them the medication in addition to what they usually take and then there's carb counting where depending on the amount of carbs that they have eaten you know up until the point you're measuring their blood glucose or whatever you prescribe you not prescribe them you administer medication for their blood sugar so we'll be learning more about that in class tomorrow and practicing all of the skills we have acquired over the past few weeks on our patient and yeah that 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 is what adds the pressure when you have the mannequin in front of you you have a certain amount of time and the professor is walking up and down looking over what you're doing you're talking to a mannequin you're taking vitals, you're doing respir respiratory assessments, cardiac assessments with your stethoscope and everything. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. The last time we did our first simulation in that class, um, it was challenging because we were in groups. We will still be in groups because there are not so many mannequins for all of us. It's nine of us in our lab group. We go to all our labs together, but in that class we tend to, well in all classes we tend to pair up at least or in threes um, and do stuff so peeps it's Tuesday night and that is all that's going on right now oh, after I do this after I prepare for tomorrow's lab in the morning I'm going to also review and practice because we have a check off tomorrow in my um, health assessment lab we're doing respiratory I think I told you that earlier we're doing um, assessments on your lungs, lung sounds, breathing, and heart, heart sounds, um, pulses from head to toe, and all of these things. And the professor might throw a question at you, you might have to answer. And keeping me company is some tea. We call this Waden tea in St. Lucia. I just made it a while ago. Um, and I have some ginger, some pieces of ginger in here. So Waden in the English name is bay leaf. So it's bay leaf leaves that I got from St. Lucia um, during Christmas time last year. Uh, my grandma prepared for me. Basically you pick the leaves and you put them to dry in the sun. That way you preserve them. And then I have them here in a bag. Whenever I want, I just boil some on the stove and I add pieces of ginger and lime. And that's it, I put a uh, less than a teaspoon of honey in here 
but it's still delicious. All right, peeps. I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow.